Alrighty. Oh, good evening, everybody. Um, back on once again. Uh, I decided to go ahead and uh, go on the forums, and then this is the first uh, this is the first thingamajig that came up. Seemed like a pretty interesting topic, and and I'll probably be doing this from time to time, making adjustments, trying to be able to get the whole whole thing in here. But the the topic is called "Why are people calling it casual bringers now?" Uh, this is in this is in reference to the new Shadowbringers expansion that's coming out in a, like early July, like July second or something like that. But I saw this, uh, so I thought I'd go ahead and uh, comment on it. And let me go ahead and highlight this whole thing. Can anyone tell me why some people are calling the game? Comparing this to what WoW did. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. If it's anything what like what if it's anything like what I went through on WoW, I played their uh, recent expansion. Um, in the what's gonna ha looks like what they're gonna be doing is they're basically gonna make all the classes play the same. In which uh, I hope to hell they don't, but if they do, chances are I might end up not playing as much, because that was probably one of the biggest things that made me leave WoW, was because I think I tried to. Uh, Try playing their tanks, but all of them pretty much felt the same. Only the th main theme was different. But if it's if that's the way they're going, uh, even my time on even I might be saying casual bringers as well. You know, because one of the things I liked about one of the things I liked about this game was the fact that uh, all the classes for the most part played differently. So no two are really that much alike. So if Squeenix kills it, I'll probably end up losing interest. Because they changed it and now it sucks. Uh -huh. Yep. I ain't gotta read the whole thing, but uh there is a lot of people that are like this. Everyone knows Give these bearded two thirds of a shade lighter in the book. It's also a quarter an inch shorter than it should be. Tolkien must be turning his grave. Eh, I guess what I forgot to do. Get rid of those other two windows before starting this up. But yeah, it, a lot of people were complaining on WoW too, and they were right. It, the game was getting boring. Not to mention, they still have the Pathfinder requirement in there just to fly. So. A lot of people are getting the fuck out on that game. Let me just let me just shrink down the text a little bit, make it a little easier. Because it's getting more and more dumbed down, homogenized every passing moment. Yep. Again, WoW went through exactly the same thing. to balance jobs and make them all exactly the same. Yup, that's lack of ingenuity on the part of the devs. Paladin has cover intervention. Oh my god, every other tank must have the same. Yup. Mm -hmm. Other tanks have a gap closer, must give one to PLD. Yup. I complain about Mug not having a gap, or not having a range attack and their gap closer. You can only use once every 30 seconds. So, I mean, kind of wish you had one, but then again, I don't, I don't want them being like every other class too. So there's that as well. What's a weapon they use? Well, if it's, if it's 1.0, I mean, it's fresh and brand new. They didn't really have much to work with. It was all, they're still trying to figure stuff out. So. Kind of understandable back then. Because of lost skills, yes. WoW went through the same thing, too. Um, they did what's called ability pruning. The, I think the, uh, the Druid class especially got it bad because uh, you they had access to all four roles. Sometimes I think you could even switch between them on the fly, like like just like that. But when they decided to do their ability pruning, 
they pared down some of them abilities, and now Druid pretty much plays like all the other classes. So. Uh, yeah, I think um, Wow went through the same thing as well. They're all listening to the fans, and I'm guessing they have more. Uh, there's more casual players than there are hardcore ones, so they're trying to go where the money's at. And since casuals tend to pay more, there's more casuals, i.e., more money. They're probably gonna listen to them. So screw what the hardcore say. Uh, yeah, I think they were saying the same thing in WoW as well. Oh, all the classes play totally different. I played for a while, and it's like, they all don't feel any different to me. Let's see, 15, 15 battles, separate job quests done. Four types for low quests. 13D. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Kind of like it because, uh, separate drop quests, but they also had separate lore quests as well. So, more lore is involved, but unless they're going to, unless they're going to make the poor roll quests, or they're, they're, unless they're going to make 15 versions of the poor type of roll quest, but I doubt it. So, it, again, they're going the way of wow with this. Thirteen separate down to three types. What was the third one? I know that the first two would be uh, crafting and gathering, but what about the third one? Not sure what that one was. I guess, um, uh, someone's got their fucking bass system going, like one of my neighbors. Floor is starting to vibrate. Yeah, I, I'm kind of iffy on this. I mean, some of the, I mean, a lot of those actions I never used, well, they're very niche. So, if they're parent. If they're paring down the less useful ones, I could kind of agree with it, but if they're going to start paring down the ones that are, that are actually useful, yeah, I'd be a little ticked. Job simplified. World of Warcraft. Uh, again, back when I was playing WoW, you got a little, you got some of both. Casuals wanting it easier, hardcore is wanting it harder. So, and I think in the end, the casuals are going to win out. Yeah. Happens to every MMO. Yeah. It's pretty much what that second post was. Like, the game has changed and now it sucks. Uh. Yeah, it, it kind of reminded me of that too. I generally don't acknowledge either casual or hardcore. You either play the game or you don't, but at least in the context of this forum thread here, it's the two are separate. Yeah, I kind of agree with this as well. 
you didn't get your uh, level 70 ability until you did all the uh, all the quests, all the job quests, and the job quests themselves, you didn't get deadly squat from them. Um, again, I probably, I probably side with her. I kind of like. I kind of liked having all those different, uh, I kind of liked having all those different job quests, because they're all different storylines. So, a little bit more lore. Uh, again, they were, they were trying to do this in World of Warcraft too, but, uh, some of those classes were, ended up getting the shaft. Druid first comes to mind. They had a whole bunch of different buttons, and they could, they were able to play they're able to play all four roles in that game, and I believe they could do it on the fly as well. I mean, not as effective as our main class or their main spec, but they were still able to do that. But once you started getting rid of the button bloat, they're they're more and more streamlined. I mean, it was less worth your while to switch specs or to switch roles on the fly. Uh, gotta disagree on this. We pull maybe do one combo to establish enemy instead of DPS sense for the rest of the fight. That's probably only gonna matter in raids. But in uh, in running uh, other content, I mean, there I've I mean I've run into numerous tanks where uh, they'll pull a boss or we'll be doing whatever and they'll drop their they'll drop their tank spec or they'll drop their tank stance and I we end up pulling aggro off of them. You know. Tank trying to get in that DPS, trying to be a maverick. You know, it could also be a spitting in our faces, telling us we can't DPS for shit, you know. Because it's especially true with uh, tanks that grossly outgear the content. Like like in running experts. I mean, leveling, leveling content, I didn't see it as much. But the experts, yeah, I mean, a lot of the tanks I ran with, they dropped their tank stance. Do one enemy combo, off it goes. But um, they only really did that is um, they only really did that if they're in all 390, 400 gear, running leveling content. They kept it on, or most of them kept it on. I think um, I did a recent one. I think I did a recent one. Um, the other three of us, we were we were getting like really super close to pulling Agar off the tank, because you know he he thought he was in a raid or he thought he was running experts. But it, I'm getting I'm getting off the subject here. Yeah, again, this is only going to matter during our raids and stuff where everybody communicates. Um, and other content, I hardly use it. This. Yep. Yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to see them pull that off. Um, I think it was a. Uh, I believe it was the role class. I think it was subtlety spec back in World of Warcraft. They pretty much had this. You had a. You had a whole. There's a whole song and dance that you had to do, just to have normal DPS like everybody else. So. If you, I mean, if you're a. I mean, if you're an, if you're an awesome player and you had 250 to 300 actions per minute or whatever, I mean, you're you better be doing you at least theoretically you should be doing more DPS than everybody else then, if you've got that kind of skill. But, uh, but anyway, as I still have a blog post I have to get going on, and I just wanted to get some kind of video whipped up, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it off here. I have to work tonight too, so I'm gonna have to get ready for that as well. So. I'll just call it good, and I'm pretty sure the rest of the thread is just going to be more or less rehashings of the first page, so I'll just go ahead and cut it off here. Thanks for watching.